This is the attic. I figured I'd take you back to where the attic starts and catch you up to where we are at with our renovation in this space. So we started by removing the chimney. My husband did this in a matter of days or a day actually. It went so fast once it was below the roof line. So that's what he's doing right here. Just taking down the chimney. We needed to remove the chimney for a structural reason. We needed to see what was happening structurally with it gone so we removed it and now we are patching the floor of where the chimney was we will be having subfloor on top of this so it really didn't need to match now i am bringing windows upstairs and i will fill you in on how that went right now Two though. Last two. All right. Still out of breath from hauling those windows. So today, I am going to be spray. I'm going to be filling in the holes in the attic floor so that we can prep for insulation, along with stapling cardboard. Let's get to work. So anywhere you see daylight, is going to be foamed and filled. Eventually this is gonna have a sub floor on it, so we don't really gotta worry about the wood up here. But we do have to fill all these gaps. So me filling these gaps was kind of pointless, but also it had to be done at some point. So I was trying to figure out what I could do to help during this point. And my husband was like, oh yeah, let's just fill in the gaps in the floor. So I started doing that. And then the next day they were working up here and some of the, of the or some of the foam got kicked out and we're gonna end up having to redo some of it anyway. So not super ideal and not a super ideal project it kind of ended up being just a, a moot point at this point but it is something that needs to happen before we insulate which is happening very soon in an upcoming episode so you want to make sure that you are subscribed you're following along we are going to be doing a diy spray foam my husband will mainly do a lot of it and we'll see how much i can help because you know we have two kids and i'm still working and he is still working so time in the house it seems to be few and far between this is me prepping for insulation, putting cardboard in the floor joists of the second floor so that we don't have to spray as much spray foam to fill in that whole gap of where the attic floor meets second floor, if that makes any sense at all. So now we are actually getting to work up here in the attic. My husband and my brother 
put all of the beautiful rafter ties up there. We replaced the windows. We added some knee walls. It really felt like things were really changing and there's going to be so much extra light in here. I'm so excited about it. My child, my son, he just, he brought his dump truck and his little excavator and I was like, mom, I know what job is good for this excavator and he hauled those up from his sandbox and I just thought it was the sweetest thing. I was like yeah buddy you can do it of course. So now we are just reinforcing the roof ties. We had to get more nails to reinforce the roof ties which I pretty much just was there to move the light. So then we started working on the stairs. The stairs up into the attic. They're gonna be so nice once they're completed. Spoiler, they are so nice once they're completed. Feels so good. We're gonna have a whole video dedicated to the stair project because that was a beast. We worked on some more plumbing, finished that up because we needed to have that finished before we could insulate. So that is now done or close to being done. And here's my husband working on the stairs, removing some of the floor joists in the attics to make room for the stairs. If you have missed any part of this renovation series, make sure that you go back and watch what you've missed. I, it's a highly recommended video, but I always say return to episode three. That's the plan video. That's our vision. That's the timeline. That's the, the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. We're going to have a whole video dedicated to the stair project because that was a beast. My dad, he is a more experienced builder, I would say, or just more experienced renovator and homeowner. And he was like, oh yeah, you'll have it done in a day. And my husband was like, it's going to take me a week. I guarantee Guarantee it'll take me a week to get these shirt on and sure enough it did make sure you're subscribed we're gonna you'll have an upcoming stair episode we're going to have an insulation video we'll get you updated on electrical and the rough and plumbing and you just don't want to miss any of the episodes or any of the things that are happening on this channel. I'm feeling like we need to do a Q&A episode very shortly so let me know if you're interested in that this renovation is a bear, a beast, but I'm so thankful that we're doing it. So we did some more framing up here. This is going to be the bathroom. We had to get the rough plumbing in before we could insulate. So that is what you'll see here. More framing, rough plumbing, almost complete. And we are so close to insulating this attic space. And it's so exciting. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!